Hello, everybody, and welcome to Voorhees Tigers basketball right here as we're live at the Leonard E. Dawson Center on the campus of Voorhees University. I'm Clarence Jones, and today is the day as we start the 2022-2023 basketball season. Today, the Tigers, they have a tough test here against the Truett McConnell Bears out of the Appalachian Athletic Conference. Last year, the Bears went 20 win season, a 20 and six record under the ninth year head coach now, uh, John, uh, the head coach, uh, well, well, John. And of course the Bears comes in with a uh, stacked lineup. They have a stacked and deep lineup here. As uh, of course they're guard deep as well as the Tigers are guard deep as well. But when you look at this game, the Bears also have a nice uh, forward, uh, and he's come out of uh, Cameroon. Uh, he is, uh, his name is Frankly. So Frankie, he's going to be a big, big uh, test for the upfront people, especially for Malachi Johnson. But of course, Coach Huff and the rest of the coaching staff thinks that the Tigers have a deep uh, squad. They feel that they're going to compete this year, and what a test that they'll have coming up here in just a matter of moments. Of course, we'll have the opening lineups uh, coming up. This is the first of a back-and-back -back home games for the Tigers today. It's Trip McConnell and then tomorrow against Kaiser. So uh, both games, of course, starting at 3 o'clock. But this game right here coming up should be a big test for the Tigers to see where they at and how their offseason win. Because right here, this uh, Bears team only gives up 71 points per game last year while scoring 75 points per game. So that means they don't give up too much uh, points here. So the Tigers, who did a fantastic job in a scrimmage win against South Carolina A&M Bulls, scoring over 100 points. Well, this team right here, the Bears, is a much different beast altogether. Can the Tigers uh, come out with one of the big victories to start off the regular season? Uh, we shall see about it, as Coach Huff thinks that he has a great squad. And why, and why not? You have Jordan Blue, uh, Tyrell Windham, and of course Hector Rosario. Those three guards right there can help out and of course match up with the Bears three guards. Also, when you look up at front, as I mentioned, Malachi Johnson will play a big role. And not only that, Huff said he wanted some big bodies, some tall bodies as far as controlling the boards. Well, the Bears, they can't control the boards. So we'll see what happens. This is once again a big test here for the Tigers to open up the 2022-2023 season. Coming up next, we'll have uh, the opening lineups and also we'll have the tip-off coming up here as the Voorhees Tigers take on the McConnell, the Truett McConnell Bears right here from the Leonard E. Dawson Center. So stay with us for more Tiger basketball.
All right, so that was the uh, starting lineups. And, of course, if you didn't get the starting lineups, I'll give it to you in just a second. All right, so here are the uh, starting lineups here as they enter out on the court. Of course, for the Tigers, we have Jordan Blue, uh, Julius Phillips, Hector Rosario, Tyler Willoughby, and Amari Joseph. Those are the starting lineups for Voorhees. For the Truett McConnell Bears, we have uh, number four, Brent Kelly. We have uh, number two, EJ Smith, along with uh, CJ Brown. That's the three guard rotation as the tap is underway by and a control by the Tigers. We also have uh, at port number 15, Inaka Frankie. That's a player to watch out for. And also we have, as that shot is up and no good, uh, KJ Riley, who just uh, rebounded that ball. That is the uh, starting lineup for the Bears. The Bears and the Tigers the first game of the regular season for both of these squads. Bears coming off a 20-win season last year. Meanwhile, Tigers trying to improve off of their uh, six-win season last year. And that was almost a steal there by E.J. Smith. A 
as I mentioned earlier, or I, I kind of uh, flubbed on the head coach name. Uh, John Yee is the head coach for the Bears as he enters in his ninth season. Last year was his best season coaching the Bears to a 20-win season. Tigers will have it. Phillips inbounds it over to Jordan Blue. And here we go, down the court. Played just about a minute here of the first half. Still no score between the Tigers of Voorhees and the Bears of Truett McConnell. The first of a back and back. Will it be for three? And it's good. So Willoughby starts off the scoring, and it's 3 nothing Tigers over the Bears. 18.45 remaining in the first half, and it's still, and it's stolen right back. Bounce pass inside to Frankie. No traveling violation. So the Tigers will take over. Later, right crowd uh, coming up here. But the students will be here. 18 and a half minutes to go. Three nothing is our score here in the first half. Thank you so very much for joining us here. Appreciate everyone for tuning in. Here's Rosario across the lane. Bounce pass. Under 10 seconds remaining on the shot clock. Will it be hit? Try his hand for three. No good. Frankie on with the rebound. The Bears like a lot of movement off the, of the ball. Down low it goes, and Brett Kelly puts two on the board for the Bears. Three to two is our score. Tigers with the lead over the Bears. And that will be a backcourt violation. So the Bears, they have an aggressive defense. So it will test the Tigers out today. But again, this Tigers team, just looking at them uh, during the preseason, the how they start to come together, very impressive. But, of course, you got to prove it out there when it counts. And today, it counts. To the basket, looking for the lob to Frankie. Still time on the shot clock. Here's Frankie. They go inside. Nice pass. Two Tigers guarding him. And a block there by Phillips. Good defense there by Julius Phillips. Got 17 minutes to go here in the first half. Rosario leaves his feet. Gives it off to Phillips. Now over to Blue. Blue bounce pass inside to Phillips. Phillips. Back and down, has advantage, in and out, and look like the whistle, and let's see. Look like it will remain the Tigers. As E.J. Smith back heel was out of bounds as he caught the ball. Here's Rosario. Rosario, nice up and under move, shot no good, not there for the Tigers. Two good looks at the basket, unable uh, to hit for the Tigers' offense. Three to two is our score. Remains Tigers over the Bears. 16 and a half minutes remaining in the first half. Here's Smith, gets it off to Frankie. Frankie, the leading scorer last year for the Bears, back rims it, and we have a whistle. So the foul will be on Willoughby. Nice pass, and it's blocked. Good defense once again for the Tigers as Amari Joseph come away with that block as Willoughby, as the ball stripped out of his hand, ball loose is picked up by the Bears. Bears want to run it. Got down court, and the deuce is there for C.J. Brown. And a quick, and we'll have a warning 
against C.J. Brown of the Bears. 4-3 is our score. Will it be checks out and check it in for the first time? Christian Ford for the Tigers. Once again, I'd like to thank everybody that's tuning in. And we always love to hear your comments during the broadcast. Those of you following us on YouTube at Voorhees University Athletics and those of you following us on Facebook. Out of the corner for three, four can't hit. And we have a blocking foul that's fallen to the floor was Raleigh, KJ Raleigh. Substitutions for the Bears. Frankie comes out and uh, coming in for the first time. We have uh, number 24 uh, coming in for the sub. Well, right now you have to go back. Luca Davison was supposed to come in. Number 24. So at the line shooting, Raleigh. Now Davison comes in. Luke Davison, excuse me. Amari Joseph comes away with the rebound. One out of two at the line goes KJ Raleigh. 5-3 is our score. Tigers down by two. The only field goal hit as we have a whistle. Traveling violation called against Rosario. Fifteen minutes and ten seconds remaining in the first half. 5-3 to three is our score. Bears up over the Tigers. Here's Raleigh. Man-to-man -man defense uh, for the Tigers as Phillips down and go inside and a good finish there for Luke Davidson. So Luke Davidson with his first two points. And right now the Bears are up 7-3 to three, under 15 minutes to go in this first half. Here's Jordan Blue. Bounce pass inside. Phillips, nice look there. And Ford with the short jump shot there. His first two points of the afternoon. And it's down to a two-point Bears lead at 7-5 to five with 14 and a half minutes to go in the first half as we'll have a whistle away from the ball. So right now the officials want to have a short conference just to get uh, everything together. That's tuning in on our uh, YouTube page and also on our Voorhees University Facebook Live page as well. We welcome in all your comments. I give a shout out to Derek Richmond, uh, who is also tuning in. Good uh, sportscaster out there in the Atlanta area. So the official is still talking see what's going on. Also, a special shout out to Austin Pickett that's tuning in. Thank you so very much. Former Tiger. So I guess after all that talking, it is Bears possession. I guess something didn't seem right. So now the Bears will have it. Up 7-5. to five. If you're just joining us, thank you all. Welcome on in. Here's Brett Kelly, bounce pass, outside for three. That's no good for uh, E.J. Smith. One thing Coach Huff wanted to do this year for the uh, Tigers is to win on the board at that pass off of the hands of Amari Joseph. Here's 
14 minutes and six seconds to go here in this first half. 7-5 is our score as Amari Joseph uh, comes out and Malachi Johnson comes in for the first time. Here are the Bulls. Good defense by Ford. High Arthur off the glass, no good. Good defense there for the Tigers back the other way. Here's Ford. Can they make a good offensive play? Off as Malachi falls down, we'll have a whistle against the Bears. Thirteen and a half minutes remaining here in the first half. Seven five is our score. Bears on top of the Tigers. Opening game of the regular season for both teams. Foster, number 12, is in for the Tigers for the first time. Foster is a junior out of Dublin, uh, Georgia. Wyndham, straightaway three-pointer is good. Terrell Wyndham. Starts out his scoring afternoon with a three-pointer. And the Tigers are now up 8-7. to seven, Coming up on 13 minutes to play here in this first half. Bounce pass inside. Falling down and unable as we have a kickball. And Tigers will have possession as Corey Seitz fell down. So now here are the Tigers up eight to seven. Rosario finding Johnson unable to hit up close. As losing the shoe with sights, back come the other way. Shot put up, count it, and one for Ortega. So Raul Ortega, who just came in, scores the and one. It looked like they'll call the foul on Malachi. That is his first. And at the line, Ortega on the three-point play. And Bears up 10-8, under 12 and a half to go. Johnson at the top, gives it off. Here's Wyndham, just misses. Up the court it goes. Three on two. Nice strip there for Christian Ford. Back the other way, Rosario. Three bears surrounding him. He has to back up. Foster gives it up. Inside it goes. Johnson. Johnson, strong move to the basket. Malachi with his first field goal, and we're tied at 10. 11.45 remaining here in the first half, and a near steal. Ford trying to come up from behind. Inside it goes, Sites. As Corey Sites, his first deuce. And it's a 12-10 Bears lead. Here's Rosario. In the lane. Shot. Back rims it. Corey Sites comes our way with the rebound. Here comes the Bulls. Oh, that was close to a carry. Kick it over. They go inside, and it's picked off by Wyndham. Wyndham starts the break for the Tigers. Let's see if he'll pull. No, he'll attack. Nice feed to Foster. Yeah. 
Deriante Foster, his first two points. And we're tied at 12. Coming up on 10 and a half to go in the first half as Rosario pokes the ball away. So you can see here in this opening game that the Tigers' uh, aggressive defense here is doing a good job so far. Meanwhile, for the Bears, of course, uh, their claim to fame is they like to move uh, motion off the ball, and they've done a pretty good job with that. So, so far... Tigers are answering the bell here in the opening half against these uh, Bears. And remember, this is the same Bears squad that won 20 games last year, and they returned most of their starters and also some of their key reserves. Here's Kelly. Kelly! Foster with the block. As Kelly falls to the floor, we have another whistle. Coach Huff said he wanted an aggressive front court. And so far, the Tigers are denying easy assets down low. Just like that, Malachi comes away with the steal. Back the other way. In the ball game, Keyshawn Fleetchin. Number 11 for the Tigers, Fleetchin. In for the first time. Cross court pass. And Keyshawn falls to the floor. As we have a push. So both teams now with uh, two team fouls. 10 minutes, 8 seconds to go in the first half. We're tied at 12. Here's Foster. Gives it up to Wyndham. Long three-pointer. And he hits! Wyndham! His second three-pointer. And if he starts heating up, this Tiger team could be dead. It's 15-12. to 12, Tigers on top. Trying to go for the answer. No. We'll have a whistle. Could be over the back against uh, Foster. It is. So Foster picks up his first foul. Team foul number three. As KJ Riley returns for the Bull, uh, for the Bear, excuse me. As we have another whistle. Nine minutes, 45 seconds to go in the first half. 15 to 12 is our score. Tigers are up thanks to a, a Wyndham three-pointer just now. As they go in bounds, Torre, number 21, checks in for the first time for the Bears as the fadeaway shot is good for Brett Kelly. Kelly, his second field goal, and it's a Tiger one-point lead at 15-14, under nine and a half minutes to go. Wyndham spots up again. Can't hit. This time on the run, here comes Kelly. Kelly loses his dribble and is stripped. Jordan Blue comes back the other way. Wyndham's calling for it in the corner. But Jordan Blue puts it in for two. So the Tigers jump out to a 17-14 lead with nine minutes to go in the first half. Here's a shot for Riley. No good. And save right into the hands of Sites. Ball free. Three pointer on the way. In and out. But Sites comes away with the board and the tip in. 17 16 now is our score. Tigers up by one. Eight and a half minutes to go here in this first half. Foster. Goes inside. Here's Johnson. Johnson backs in down on sights. Off the glass. Oh, in and out. 
so close there for Malachi. Instead, the Bears with the opportunity to take the lead here. Coming up on eight minutes to go. Sites gives it up. Kelly thought about a three. Now goes in for two. No good. Rebound put back is up and good. There for Kafumba Torre. Torre with his first two points. Eighteen seventeen is our score. Foster spots up for three. No good. Raleigh comes away with the rebound. Here comes KJ all the way to the hoop as he's tied up by Wyndham. They'll call a foul on Wyndham. And let's see as we'll have uh, some substitutions coming in for the Bears. Phillips comebacks in. Meanwhile, for the Bears, uh, E.J. Smith, along with C.J. Brown, checks back in. And as well as Frankie checks in. It looks like it's just the first game for all of us, even with the uh, referees. So now the possession will go to the Bears. Seven minutes and 25 seconds to go. 18-17 is our score. Bears on top. As we had a Tiger momentarily fall down to the ground. Coming up on 10 seconds left on the shot clock. Here's Frankie in the lane. Frankie puts it up. Short from up close. And we'll have a whistle. And that will go against Frankie. He knocked a Frankie, the graduate student. And also he was the leading scorer last year on this 20-win Bears team. Tigers down by one, 18-17. Seven minutes remaining here in the first half. Here's Phillips. Joseph gives it back up. Three-pointer on the way. No good there for Fleeshan. Back come the Bears. That's the traveling. K.J. Raleigh travels. Six minutes and 43 seconds to go here in this first half. Kind of a defensive struggle a little bit. Teams playing pretty good defensive ball. But now it comes down to uh, which offense will start to go on the run here. Late in this first half. Here's Phillips. He'll try his hand at a three. Just missing. Rebound as falling to the floor as we'll have a foul against the Bears. And that one is called against Brent Kelly. That's Kelly's first. And the Bears team foul number four. So Tigers will have possession. Still down by one at 18-17. Here's Fleeshan. Bounce pass and off of the hands of who? They'll say Tiger, uh, excuse me, last touch by the Bears. So the Tigers will have possession. 15 seconds left on the shot clock. Phillips. Bryce Wilson, number 23, also in there for the Tigers with only five seconds left on the shot clock and a block. Good play there for Brett Kelly. Back the other way. That looks like a traveling violation, and it is. Ortega. Uh, excuse me, check that. C.J. Brown 
going in. Uh, no, that is Ortega. Ortega went there out of control. Under six minutes to go here in this first half. Still 18 to 17. Here comes the double team. And a timeout taken. And a good timeout. That's good defense there. So with five minutes and 44 seconds to go, Tigers are still down 18 to 17. And again, both teams playing some good defense here in the first half of the first game of the regular season. But just a reminder that tomorrow we'll have more Tiger basketball action. Same time, same spot, and the same viewing channels. Voorhees University Athletics and also on our Voorhees uh, Facebook page as well. Eighteen seventeen is our score. with five minutes and 44 seconds to go. Phillips inbound fast as he was, he's double team as soon as he got the ball. Under 10 seconds to go in the shot clock. Rosario, five seconds. They gotta look up, they gotta put it up. Nice pass, but it gets away. Frankie comes away with it. Up the court it goes. EJ Smith tries his hand for a three and he hits. That is only the first three-pointer made by the Bears. And the Bears right now with a 21-17 lead. Here's Phillips. Picks up his dribble. Blue to the basket. And I think Blue draws the foul. Two-shot foul coming up for Jordan Blue. So Jordan Blue will be at the line as Ortega was called for the foul. This is the first of two. Willoughby checks back into the ball game for the Tigers. And checking back in at number 21, Torre, for the Bears. Here in this first half, Jordan Blue try to cut the lead, and he cannot hit that. He misses both free throws. The five minutes to go in this first half, 21-17, Bears on top. Here's Torre. Looking for somebody. Ortega. Back out to Frankie. Over to Ortega. Ten seconds left on the shot clock. They work it around the horn. That's a three-pointer. It's good. Brett Kelly. And Kelly with now seven points on the afternoon. And it's a seven-point Bears lead at 24-17. to 17. Under four and a half minutes to play. Here is Blue. Teardrop is good. Jordan Blue, his second field goal, and that cuts the Bears' lead down to 24-19. Is EJ Smith gets the down low key. Frankie is called for steps. Good defense for by Amari Joseph denying him any access to the baseline. Three minutes and 56 seconds to go in the first half. Here's Willoughby. Man-to-man -man defense is Phillips. Phillips loses his dribble momentarily. Blue. Blue in the lane. Nice pass. As the lay-in for two for Amari Joseph. Joseph with his first field goal and is down to a three-point Bears lead at 
Three minutes and 15 seconds to go in the first half. Here's Ortega into two bears, uh, into two tigers, and that's a traveling violation called against Ortega. As we have a substitution for the Bears, R.J. Bryant, number 12, checks back in while E.J. Smith heads to the bench. As we come up, coming up on three minutes to play here in this first half. Out of the corner for three, no good for Phillips. Bears come away with the rebound. KJ Rowley. There's RJ Bryant. Back out to Rowley at the corner, being guarded by Phillips. Rowley along the baseline. Tough angle shot. Hit. Once again, some good defense being played here. Here's Jordan Blue into the lane, and we have a traveling violation called against Blue. Blue thought he might have been fouled. Austin Pickett asks if there's a nice crowd out here. Yes, it is a growing crowd, a late, a late arriving crowd, but it is a good crowd uh, coming here. They may not be as vocal right now because it is a tight game. Oh, nice play down the lane. Otega puts it in. And now he has his second field goal, five points on the afternoon for Raul Otega. And an offensive foul called against Hector Rosario. Slow getting up is Torrey. It looks like he's all right, a bit shaken up. A minute 54 remaining in the first half. 26-21 is our score. Uh, Truett McConnell, Bears out of Cleveland, Georgia, leading the Tigers of Voorhees University. The Bears last year only gave up 71 points per game. And it looks like here, this is going to be kind of one of these low scoring games. It's 26 21, under two minutes to go here in this first half. Dope. And we'll have a Palmen violation called against the Bears. And KJ Rowley. Begs to differ. As the clock stops, a minute 39 to go. As the officials clean up the wet spot. Right now, the Tigers team, you can see it and how they're playing. That this is a different squad uh, from last year's squad. As once again, Coach Huff put an emphasis on being more aggressive on the defensive end. And uh, so far, so good. Uh, the Bears, nobody has cracked uh, 30 points, but also the Bears are a good defensive team as well. Coming up on a minute and a half remaining here in the first half is Willoughby along the lane. As we have a foul. Um, foul called on. Look like Corey Sites. Sites with his first foul as Willoughby knocks down the first of two. 
Isaiah Sellers, number three, checks in for the first time as Sykes checks out. Torre checks back in for the Bears. Will it be? <laughs> that one rattled in. And it's down to a three-point lead, and we'll have a whistle. Looks like delay a game. Bears up by three, 26-23. Little light press, and now Tigers will go back to their man-to-man -man defense. Ortega, who's had a nice first half, and it continues with a nice first half. Seven points now for Ortega. So Raul Ortega, out of the Dominican Republic, leads his team in scoring right now. And that's an offensive foul. That's called on Sellers. Sellers, who just checked in the ball game moments ago. Twenty-eight, twenty-three is our score with forty-five seconds to go, and the Bears decide to call a timeout. So Truett McConnell with the timeout with forty-five point three seconds to go. Twenty-eight, twenty-three is our score. Want to remind you that the uh, Voorhees University homecoming is November the sixth until the thirteenth. Plenty of events coming up including starting November the 6th with the Gospel Explosion. And then also we have the homecoming concert coming up that Friday on the 11th as Arrested Development, the headliner, Mark Hans Smith also on the bill as the event will be hosted by MC Lightfoot. And, of course, we'll have a doubleheader basketball games, which you can watch right here on the Voorhees University Athletics page, YouTube page, and also on our Voorhees University Facebook page. Johnson & Wells will be the homecoming opponent for both the men's and the women's. Coverage begins just before 1 o'clock for the women's tip-off, 3 o'clock for the men's tip-off. Out of the timeout, Bears attack, no good. Another opportunity, but falling to the ground is Kelly. Will it be a jump ball situation? Yes, it will be, and it will be Tigers basketball. So 24 seconds left on the game clock. 28-23 is our score. Bears on top of the Tigers. So then once again, got to clean up a wet spot on the floor. Also a special uh, shout out to those uh, Truett McConnell Bears fans that are watching us. Uh, thank you for tuning in. And as always, our alumni for the Voorhees Tigers, who always tune in, thank you so very much for tuning in here this afternoon. Shot clock is turned for the final shot, down 28 to 23. Here's Willoughby, under 10 seconds to go. Willoughby gets it off, Wyndham. They gotta put it up, one second. Good defense there by the Bears as we will head to halftime. It's 28 for the Truett McConnell Bears and 23 for the Voorhees University Tigers. And in this matchup right here, very easy to see 
that defensively, this has been a defensive battle for both teams. And even though the Tigers are down, so far, trying to cause some turnovers. Only thing about Voorhees right now, they had uh, some cold spurts here and there. Thus, that is why they're down 28 to 23. And now in the second half, let's see if the Tigers offense can turn on here in the second half. Terrell Wyndham was already hit two three-pointers. Let's see if he can uh, be the Mr. Spark. But ever since he hit those two three-pointers, uh, he's been kind of quiet. As for the rest of the team, uh, will it be with uh, five points? Uh, Jordan Blue with four points. Malachi Johnson and Deronte Foster, both with two points apiece, and as well as Amari Joseph. Let's see if we'll have some more point production from the front court. All right, so once again, our halftime score, 28 to 23 is our score. Trip McConnell Bears leading the Voorhees University Tigers. Uh, we'll take this break, and then, of course, we'll get you set for the second half. Be a very interesting second half. You're watching Tiger Basketball on the Voorhees University Athletics YouTube page and on Voorhees University Facebook Live. We'll return to you after this.
We're back here as we get ready to start the second half. 28 to 23 is our score. The Truett McDonald McConnell Bears lead the Voorhees University Tigers. I'm Clarence Jones. And looking at this uh, first half here, uh, it's a defensive struggle. Uh, the Tigers uh, kept the Bears off the board, but of course the Bears uh, had some good timely baskets. That's why they lead uh, 28 to 23 right now. Meanwhile, for the Tigers, uh, their offense really needs to start to get going here in the second half if they want to have any chance of coming back and beating uh, this Bears team, a Bears team that brings back a lot of their players who won 20 games last year. Meanwhile, uh, for the Tigers, uh, up front right now, uh, Amari Joseph and also Malachi Johnson uh, has to take control of the boards and limit the Bears as far as uh, penetration. Meanwhile, for the Tigers guards, I know Terrell Wyndham has hit th two three-pointers so far. He has six points, but uh, here in the second half, let's see if Wyndham can start going because he's a very streaky shooter, but once he starts to get going, the Tigers, the Tigers feed off of that. So we'll see what happens with that. Hector Rosario has had a little uh, quiet here first half. Meanwhile, Jordan Blue has played uh, very well here, but let's see if Jordan Blue can pick it up in the point production. Meanwhile, for the Bears, of course, uh, the Bears, they are good on defense. Let's see if the Tigers can crack through uh, that Bears defense. Meanwhile, offensively speaking, uh, Frankie, who is the leading scorer for the Bears last year, is not getting off uh, to the hot start. But Ortega has made up uh, for that. Ortega has seven points, and he's tied uh, as far as most points on the uh, Bears basketball squad so far. So this should be an exciting second half. Hopefully that you uh, make sure you stay with us right here on our YouTube page and also on our Facebook Live. Coming up is the second half between the Bears and the Tigers. Stay with us. As we get start, get ready to start the uh, second half right now, we have a little delay in uh, our game so far as uh, they're fixing the backboard. As uh, right now, you're taking a look at the 10th president of Voorhees University, uh, Dr. Ronnie Hopkins. And of course, uh, he is very excited uh, coming up for the university's 
first homecoming as a university. Remember the times is the theme. As you take a look, well, in the back of Ronnie Hopkins. As we have a delay here to start the second half as they fix the... On the opposite end, not where uh, Voorhees is shooting at, but they have the cushion of the backboard. The uh, cushion of the backboard is uh, messed up. And that's why the, the long delay of halftime. So eventually they will uh, have things fixed up and we will, we will have a uh, second half of basketball coming up. So please stay with us. 28-23 is our score. Boy, he's down to the Truett McConnell Bears. And right now the Bears went back into their locker room. Meanwhile, the Tigers are out on the court getting some extra shots. So that is why we have the delay right there as you see on your screen. Shout out to the Chief Sean Hill for Boyhees University security. He's not only the chief of Boyhees Campus Police, he's also a part-time handyman. So it looked like we should be straight. And we'll start the second half momentarily. momentarily. But uh, just a reminder that coming up tomorrow, as we have more Tiger basketball action starting at 3 p.m. Eastern time, as the Voorhees Tigers will take on the Kaiser University Seahawks. And that game will start at 3 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. Tune right back here on Voorhees University Athletics YouTube page and also Voorhees University Facebook Live. All right, so the Bears get ready to come back out on the court. Seems like the delay is okay. Well, a last little few minutes cosmetic fixtures there on the backboard of where the Bears are supposed to be uh, shooting at. While we still have time, just want to let everybody know that we do have a Boyhees University remember our homecoming coming up starting November the 6th with a gospel extravaganza starting at 4 p.m. Doors open at 3 for ticket information. Log on to voorhees.edu backslash homecoming2022. Also, that week we'll have a homecoming concert with the headliner, Arrested Development. Also, Mark Ann Smith will be on uh, the bill. Show will be hosted by MC Lightfoot. And that will take place Friday night at 8 o'clock at Leonard E. Dawson Center. So make sure that you tune in. Well, for more of ticket information, not tune in, but actually come and be a part of the homecoming festivities. For more information, log on to voyhees.edu backslash homecoming2022. Also, we uh, invite everybody to chat room. Thank you, everybody, that's uh, commenting in the chat room on our YouTube page and also on Facebook Live as well. Twenty-eight, twenty-three is our score. As now about three minutes has been put on the clock. So we'll have uh, enough time for the Bears to warm up. And this should be a big half here coming up for the Tigers. As I mentioned, the Tigers 
pretty good defensively speaking in the first half. Meanwhile, the Bears, who are last year was a good defensive team. Uh, they're a good defensive team in the first half of the opening game of the regular season. So now it's really about can the Tigers break through offensively? Also, I have to give a shout out to all the parents that are watching their kids here in this basketball game that's tuned in, whether on YouTube or also on Facebook. Let us know where you're watching us from. Once again, thank you so very much uh, for tuning in. A little bit extra longer than expected uh, halftime because of the uh, backboard situation. But in about a minute and a half from now, we will have second half basketball. Meanwhile, the leading scorers for the Voorhees Tigers, we have Tyler Willoughby with five points, Jordan Blue with four points, and uh, Terrell Windham, based off of his two three-pointers, lead the Tigers in scoring with six points. <sighs> All right, so we're ready for some uh, second half basketball as Julius Phillips, along with Tyler Willoughby, Amari Joseph, Jordan Blue, and uh, Hector Rosario will start things off in the second half for the Tigers. Meanwhile, the Bears will start off as they start off in the first half. They have uh, Brent Kelly along with C.J. Brown. He knocked a Frankie as in there. And uh, KJ Riley, as we have a traveling violation. Play just about 30 seconds into the second half. Nice cut and the basket there for KJ Riley. So KJ now with three points on the afternoon, and it's a seven point bear lead. Willoughby attacking the basket. Seven points now for Willoughby, and it's a five-point Bears lead at 30-25, to 25, and a block there by Amari Joseph as the ball goes out of bounds. As Brent Kelly tried to attack the basket. Here come the Bears on the attack. 
Riley, man-to-man -man defense. Now, deep three-pointer, E.J. Smith, a contested shot. And we'll have a foul situation. So a foul is called on Brett Kelly. As we have a whistle. Once again, thank you for uh, all the comments in our chat room and both our YouTube and our Facebook page. See some old friends uh, tuning in. Cameron McLean, all the way out there in Kentucky, tuning in. Thank you, sir. My former broadcast partner, as challenging to the hoop, KJ Riley, but the good defense there by the Tigers. 30 to 25 is our score, 18 and a half minutes remaining here in the second half. Rosario stops, bounce pass inside. Joseph kicks it back out. Still a lot of time left on the shot clock. Phillips unable to hit the three. Back come the Bears. Frankie. Man-to-man -man defense. Rosario on Kelly. Gets it into the corner to Raleigh. Riley takes it out of the corner, kicks it out, and we'll have an offensive foul called against Kelly. Excuse me, I, they'll call it on Raleigh. So Riley called for his first foul. And it's the second team foul of the second half for the Bears. 30 to 25 and the near steal there by Raleigh. Still trying to look for somebody. Now goes inside, here's Joseph. Joseph gets stripped there by Raleigh as Raleigh Glow contends to the floor. And it will be a foul called against Joseph. So Joseph called for his first personal. 30 to 25. Tigers are down by five. They work it inside to Frankie. Frankie, nice move on Amari Joseph. And Frankie, with his first points of the afternoon, extends the Bears' lead to 32 to 25. Under 17 minutes to go here in the second half. Almost picked off. Instead, here's Rosario. Oh, I had to make a decision in the air. Bad decision as Willoughby knocks the ball away. Joseph comes away with it, and back come the Tigers. Tigers need to get something going here. Shots short. As Brett Kelly comes away with it, here's Raleigh up court. Along the baseline, kicks it out. EJ, Riley, under 10 seconds to shoot. Riley gives it up. Nice pass to Frankie. So Frankie now with back-to-back -back field goals here in the second half. And quickly, just like that, the Bears jump out to a nine-point lead at 34 to 25, under 16 minutes to go here in the second half. Rosario thought about a three, will take their jump shot instead. And that's no good. Riley falls to the floor. Traveling violation is called against K.J. Riley. So the Bears and the Tigers battling here in the second half. Tigers call the timeout as the clock stopped with 15 minutes and 42 seconds to go. Here in the second half, 34 for the Bears, 25 for the Tigers. 
here in the season opener of basketball 2022-2023. And just a reminder, we'll have another basketball game tomorrow as Kaiser University, the Seahawks, comes into town to take on the Tigers. We'll have coverage just before tip-off. Tip-off will be set at 3 o'clock. So while you're watching uh, NFL football, make sure you tune in on YouTube or and or Facebook to watch the Tigers take the court once again. Here's Willoughby. Willoughby high off the glass and drawing the foul. Will it be? Will be at the line. It's the first. CJ Brown will come out with three personal fouls. That last foul was his. Will it be? Unable to hit, but it looks like we'll have a lane violation called against the Bears. So Willoughby will get another opportunity. Uh, yeah, Austin Pickett says, tough schedule for the Tigers. Yes, it is a tough schedule for the simple fact that they start off today with a team that won 20 games last year and then tomorrow against the always tough Seahawks from Kaiser University. So back-to-back -back tough home games. But right now, Tigers hanging in, down 34-27 to 27 as we're under the 15-and-a-half-minute mark. Phillips playing some nice defense. Here come the double team with Malachi. They give it up with five seconds left on the shot clock and a contested shot, but over the hands of Willoughby and EJ Smith with the deuce. Five points for EJ, and it's back out to a nine point Bears lead at 36 to 27, under 15 minutes to play. Here's Phillips. With 10 seconds left on the shot clock. Gets it up. Here's the shot. It's good. Nice play for Phillips finding Jordan Blue. And Blue with his third field goal. And it's 36 to 29 coming up on 14 and a half minutes to play. They go and try to work it inside. Here's Frankie facing up on Johnson. Frankie to the basket. Blocked there by Malachi. But the re but the Put back is up is no good. Another attempt, and we'll finally have a foul as Torre comes out limping just a slight bit. Jeremiah West tuning in from Tennessee. Thank you so very much for tuning in. Let us know where you're tuning us in at here this afternoon, whether you are a Bears fan or a Tiger supporter. And at the line shooting, Torre. His first points sets since the first half as Christian Ford and Foster checks in. Rosario and Phillips will check out. Meanwhile, Frankie checks out. Ortega checks back in for the Bears. Ortega had a nice first half. Is that second shot no good? And I scored 37 to 29. Bears on top. But the Tigers trying to come back here as we're coming up on the 14-minute mark left in the, the second half.
And that will be a turnover. They call a three-second violation on the Tigers. We got people tuning us in all the way from uh, Valdosta, Georgia. Thank you, Miss Charles, for tuning in. Bounce pass just a bit off from sights and the turnover. Terrell Wyndham checks in. Here's Ford. Ford gives it up inside the Foster. Can't hit. Here's Torrey. Double team, and he draws the foul. So let's see, it looks like that foul will be called on Malachi. That is his first. I had to check the uh, scoring books and uh, I gave Malachi a foul in the first half, which he did not pick up. So this is actually his first right here. Three team fouls for the Bears, two for the Tigers as Torre comes up short, the first of two. KJ Raleigh comes out. So EJ, Ortega, Torre, Sites, and also into the game, RJ Bryant for the Bears. You got Christian Ford, Malachi Johnson, Terrell Windham, Jordan Blue, and Foster in the, for the Tigers. As that is tipped and picked off. Up the court it goes. Ortega is hit from behind. The ball goes out of bounds. Good recovery defense for Christian Ford, not giving up the layup. So the Bears call a timeout as we're just under the 13-minute mark, 12 minutes and 55 seconds to be exact, remaining here in the second half. 38 for the Bears, 29 for the Voorhees Tigers. And uh, just a reminder that's coming up uh, tomorrow, we'll have more Tiger basketball right here from the Leonard E. Dawson uh, Center. Side of the timeout, the Bears with the basketball. Here's Torre, gives it up to Sites. Sites in the lane. His shot is denied by Johnson. Here's Willoughby. Willoughby, floater, can't hit. Ford, as it was knocked out of his hands, and it will remain a Tiger basketball. Thirty-eight twenty-nine is our score. Tigers are down. Is four gets the screen now pulls. Ah, uh, just off Willoughby with the rebound, put back. That would have been an and one, but instead Willoughby draws the foul. Sites with his second personal foul. That's the team's fourth on uh, Trip McConnell. A 
as Willoughby hits the first of two. Willoughby now with 10 points on the afternoon. Make it 11. And it's down to a seven point Bears lead at 38 31 with 12 22 remaining here in the second half. The chant of defense coming live here. And it's stolen. Will it be? Up the court it goes. Here's Ford. Ford gives it up. Window puts it in. So Window with his first two points since the first half, where he scored two three pointers. And it's 38 33. Bears lead out of the corner for three. No good. Ford comes away with the rebound. A chance for the Tigers to cut it to the lead. Wide open. Will it be for three? Can't hit. Forced to jump a bit too early there. Other way. And it's a foul on the court. Not in the act of shooting. So as the whistle comes, 38-33 is our score. 11 minutes and 32 seconds to go in the second half. Tigers down to the Bears. We have a little wet spot on the floor. Still, Tigers keeping within reach. We figured this was going to be a low-scoring game, given that the Bears are a good defensive team. Last year, only giving up just over 71 points a game. And that's way over the head of Ortega. Not a backcourt violation. Bounce pass, Corey looks inside. And the ball goes out of bounds. Good defensive play down low for Foster and also Johnson. Disrupting the pass play. Eleven twenty-six to go here in the second half. Truett McConnell with a 38-33 lead over the Voorhees University Tigers. As we have Bear fans watching us here this afternoon on our YouTube page and also on Facebook. And also a special shout out to all of the alum and Tiger fans watching us here. The first game of the basketball season. And remember to tune in tomorrow afternoon, Tiger fans, as we'll have more Tiger basketball at 3 p.m. Seahawks from Kaiser University comes into town. A little delay as a wetness on the basketball. As Chris Ford drives it up. All right, so here we go. Just under the 11 and a half minute mark. Oh, almost a big jam there by Willoughby. A Willoughby playing with the aggressiveness. The leading scorer for the Tigers here this afternoon. Twelve points for Willoughby. Makes it thirteen points for Willoughby. And is down to a 38-35 Bears lead. Coming up on 11 minutes to go here in the second half. As the crowd start coming alive here. 
Bounce pass nice to Corey Seitz. Seitz with his third field goal. And it's back out to a five-point Bears lead. Malachi unable to handle the pass from Ford. Here come the Bears on the attack. Nice play for Brent Kelly. Kelly with nine points on the afternoon. And it's a seven-point Bears lead at 42 to 35. With 10 minutes and 43 seconds remaining in the second half, as it was a technical foul called against the Bears. As Willoughby continue his hot shooting from the free throw line. So technical foul was called on the Bears. I thought they uh, called the technical on the coach, but apparently it was one of the players that got the technical foul. Forty-two thirty-six is our score. Tigers trying to cut in on the Bears' lead. Here's Willoughby. Ford. That's a kick ball off of the foot of Corey Seitz. As Willie B tracks it down in the backcourt. Still time left on the shot clock. Willie B gives it up. Foster picks up his dribble and he's caught for an offensive foul. So Deirante Foster picks up the offensive foul. And with 10 minutes and 13 seconds to go in the second half. There's still a 42 to 36 Bears lead over the Tigers. So another wet spot situation. Right now for the Tigers, trying to get their offense into high gear so they can cut in on this 42-36 uh, Bears lead. Here's Sites Out of the corner for three. Rims in and out. Second opportunity for the Bears. Sites gets it out. Here's Brent Kelly. Kelly splitting the defense, loses control, picked up by Foster. Window spots up for three. No. Joseph chases it down. Here's Willoughby. Can't hit. So the Tigers all of a sudden going a little cold here from the floor as we're under the nine and a half minute mark. 42. 36 is our score. Bears puts it in down low and a tough shot there for Sites. Looked like a little reverse there. The Sites is fourth field goal. And that's eight points for Corey Sites. And it leads to a Bears eight point lead at 44 to 36 with nine minutes and 11 seconds remaining here in the second half. So right now, as far as the Tigers go, they need to start try to get on a run here. As we're under the 10-minute mark. As a matter of fact, we're coming up on the nine-minute mark as we speak. Foster will try his hand out of three, and he hits. Deontay Foster, his first three-pointer. And it's down to a 44-39. 
Bears lead, and the Tigers call a timeout. So with eight minutes and 56 seconds to go, that was a big three put in there by Foster. And right now, a 44-39 lead for the Bears. Tigers trying to get this momentum. And once again, uh, uh, Tigers, defensively speaking, not letting uh, the Bears go off like that. But on the other side of the coin, the Bears are also has held the Tigers under 40 points. And we got eight minutes and 56 seconds remaining in the second half. So if you held an opponent under 40 points and out of the 40 minutes that you normally play for basketball and just over 30 minutes holding them to under 40 points, you can see why the Bears won 20 games last year based off of their defensive play. Forty-four thirty-nine is our score. And they look inside. That is partially blocked. And CJ Brown trying to lay it up and in. And from behind, a steal. Here comes Raul Ortega. They go back inside. Here's CJ Brown. And a foul is called. So a foul called against the Tigers. So that gives the Tigers a fifth team foul. So both the Bears and the Tigers now with five team fouls apiece. I want to let our audience know uh, that our camera work is being done by students who are with the media network want to give a shout out to all the students working behind the camera as this is a student production here and just like to thank the students for giving up their time here to help us out with the broadcast As C.J. Brown hits the second, and it's a 45-39 Bears lead. Here's Christian Ford with the basketball. Ford gets it. Christian Ford, a big shot. And it's down to a 45-41 Bears lead, eight minutes remaining. Bounce pass inside. Frankie, turnaround shot. Can't hit. Ball knocked away. Finally in the hands of Foster. It's Ford. Ford to the basket. Got it. Christian Ford back to back. Big buckets. It's down to a two point Bears lead. Seven and a half minutes to go. Christian Ford has brought this crowd alive. Channing defense. Frankie gives it up out of the corner. Frankie just inside the free throw line he hits. Quieting the crowd for just a little bit. 47-43, seven minutes to go here in the second half. Three-pointer, oh, and this crowd would have been jumping out of the stands if Wyndham would have hit that one. Instead, Bears will have it. Bears on top.
Three-pointer on the way is good. And a big three-pointer for Brent Kelly. That's his second three-pointer. And it's back out to a seven-point Bears lead at 50 to 43. Six and a half minutes to go here in the second half. Wyndham, let's see if he can start sparking it up. And one! Terrell Wyndham brings the crowd back to life. It's down to a five-point Bears lead at 50 to 45. So Wyndham will try to hit the end one. Wyndham with 10 points on the afternoon. As we have another wet spot situation before Wyndham takes the free throw line. Six minutes and 23 seconds as Wyndham. Very important free throw coming up here for the Tigers. And Wyndham completes the three-point play, and it's down to a four-point Bears lead as Wyndham steps out with a hand, and Bryce Wilson checks back in for the Tigers. And another chance of defense as this crowd is alive here on this Saturday afternoon. Splitting the defense and losing the basketball. Forster comes away with it as Brett Kelly dribbled it into a crowd. Down low, Joseph. Turn around, shot high off the glass and good! Amari oh, Joseph. It's down to a two-point Bears lead. 50 to 48, under six minutes to go. Time out, Bears. As this crowd and the Tiger squad is electric here at the Dawson Center. Five minutes and 42 seconds remaining. And the Tigers. Of course, coming off of that six-win season, every season begins anew. And this Tiger team is definitely playing at a good level here against a team who won 20 games last year. And so far, for the Tigers, looking good on this recent run here. Defensively speaking now, Tigers still holding the Bears to one shot per session. Not giving the Bears not too many second chance shots. Meanwhile, the Tigers offense starting to come alive here as we draw near the crunch time. Five minutes, 42 seconds to go. Bears with the basketball. Let's see if the Tigers can have a big stand here. Defense. Kelly puts up the shot. No good. Foster comes away with the rebound. Back come the Tigers. They can tie it with a two. Take the lead with a three. Willoughby. They try to go for the lead. No. Ball knocked around and looked like we'll have a whistle against the Bears. So foul call. Non-shooting foul. Kelly picks up his third. Five minutes, 15 seconds to go. It's a two-point lead. 50-48. Bears on top. 
Wyndham back into the ball game. Willoughby leading the Tigers in scoring this afternoon. Takes the shot and we're tied. Willoughby, Tyler Willoughby sends this crowd on their feet and we're tied at 50. Here's EJ, gives it up. Raleigh being guarded there by Wyndham. Raleigh near strip there for the reach in foul. Yes, Austin, Willoughby is on fire here this afternoon. As Wyndham checks back out. Hector Rosario is in the ball game. It looks like they'll call a foul against Rosario. That's Rosario's third. Look like Wyndham might be heading back to the scorer's table. And not just yet, says Coach Huff. A one and one coming up here for KJ Riley, the senior out of Greenville, Mississippi. Transfer from Alcorn State University. Hits the first. And now he's granted the bonus. Is back up to a one point lead at 51 to 50 with four minutes and 43 seconds to go in this ball game. Riley misses the second. Joseph come away with the rebound. So once again, the Tigers can take the lead on a deuce. Will it be? The big man this afternoon for the Tigers hands it off. Ford tries his hand and a three hits off glass. Big shot for Christian Ford, who's come alive here in the second half. It's 53 51, Tigers by two. Good defense there by Foster on Frankie. Frankie, turn around, spin move, can't hit. Ball knocked around and is picked up by Frankie. Ball goes out of bounds. Still some good defense there by the Tigers. 53-51, four minutes remaining here in this second half. So the Bears trying to look for something. And that one is partially blocked in by Joseph or Frankie. And we have a traveling violation caught against Ford as he fell down. With three minutes and 54 seconds remaining in the ball game. As we have a substitution as Torre checks out, Corey Sykes, number 33 for the Bears, checks back in. Three minutes, 54 seconds to go. Tigers, their first lead in a long while. Bears, about 98, 99% of this game has led. Oh, nice bounce pass and a block there by Amari Joseph. One of the defensive play. As Brett Kelly pokes the ball from behind, going back up the corner on Willoughby. It'll be Tiger basketball. Also, you got to give a shout out to Christian Ford, who looked like who got a hand in there as well. So the defensive play of Amari Joseph and Christian Ford. As Joseph 
was fouled on the inbound pass. As the clock stops with three minutes and 47 seconds to go, 53-51, Tigers on top. So some big free throws coming up for Amari Joseph, the Georgia native. There's another wet spot on the floor before Joseph take the free throw. Off of the back iron. So back the other way. Bears down by two. Chair the defense. And a timeout fall by the Bears. As the head coach, John Yee, Want to take a timeout to talk things over. So right now, this is clutch time with three minutes and 32 seconds remaining in the ball game. So the Bears want to set up for a good possession here. Meanwhile, for the Tigers, they are trying to make a stop here. Tigers only giving up 51 points here this afternoon. Last year, the Tigers was giving up somewhere in the high 70s as far as points per game. But let's see what the Bears come up with here. Frankie being guarded. By Joseph with only five seconds left on the shot clock. Frankie bounce pass inside to Torre and we have a foul. Oh. Amari Joseph is called for the foul. That's only his second personal. Team eighth. And Torre will head to the line to shoot with three minutes and 19 seconds to go. Misses the first. This could be a big opening victory here for the Tigers if they can hold on these last three minutes and change. Torre cuts it down to a one-point Tiger lead at 53-52 with three minutes and 15 seconds and counting. These are some big possessions, offensive possessions coming up here for the Tigers. Here's Ford, had to jump for it, back over to Willoughby, kicks it out. Hector, big three-pointer at the corner for Hector Rosario. What a time to hit your first field goal. 56-52, under three minutes to go. Tigers on top. Traveling violation call on Ortega. And Ortega is upset about that call. Under three minutes, matter of fact, Coming up on two and a half minutes to play. Tigers with a four point lead, their biggest lead of the afternoon. Rosario will try again for three. And it's off of the hands of Joseph. Clock stops with 2.24 remaining in uh, the second quarter, uh, the second half. 56-52, Bears down to the Tigers. Bounce pass inside. Frankie, tie up! But Bears 
will have possession. Two minutes, nine seconds to go. Raleigh, cross court pass. Ortega loses the ball. His court, as we'll have a whistle, they'll stop play. Now, how, they, how can they do that? It was a turnover. That should have uh, gone. But instead, the officials held up the fast break opportunity for the Tigers. That was a turnover, and Coach Huff, Coach Huff is letting the official who called it let him know, hey, you can't stop the fast break on the uh, possession change. So the officials are talking about it now. But once again, that Ortega lost the ball going down the lane, and that should have been a Voorhees possession. Now, unless the officials it was trying to call a foul against the Tigers, but I didn't see a foul necessarily. All right, so we'll have a uh, timeout. Tigers will call a 30-second timeout with two minutes remaining here in uh, the second half. Tigers up 56 to 52 here in the opening game. Are you coming up at three o'clock? That's the tip off time. We'll be on the air shortly before tip off to set the scene. So make sure you join us as the Tigers start off strong here against some strong opponents this afternoon against Truett McConnell and then tomorrow against the Seahawks. Once again, thank you for everybody for tuning in and also commenting on our YouTube page and also on our Facebook page as well. Here's Ford, ready to throw it in, gives it up to Foster. Still plenty of time on the shot clock. It's Foster trying to look for somebody, and they cause him a timeout. So good timeout. So Tigers call the timeout. A minute 53 remaining. Still 56-52. Tigers on top by four. Tigers right now got to play smart. And as Huff says, you got to close out. Got to close out these close games. And last year, because of how the Tigers were out-rebound, a lot of these tight games usually went not the way of the Tigers. But so far here, Tigers with a 56-52 lead and they're not necessarily getting outdone by a large margin on the boards. In fact, it's uh, close when you're talking numbers as far as rebound, total rebounds for both squads. Ford gives it in to Willoughby. Willoughby get, being guarded by Raleigh. And that's a foul, or foul called on Raleigh. KJ Raleigh. That's the second personal foul. Team foul number eight. So both teams with 18 fouls. And Willoughby will be at the line shooting. Some big free throws coming up here for Tyler Willoughby, who has played very well and leads the Tigers in scoring here this afternoon. Willoughby hits the first, 
as the majority of his points has come via the charity strike. Misses the second. So it's a 57-52 Tiger lead. A minute 40 remaining in the second half. Raleigh. And loses the ball is picked up by Rosario. Another big defensive stand for the Tigers. Under a minute and a half remaining here in the second half. Here's Rosario. Gives it up. Four for three. Count it! And one! Kristen Ford! What a play! So Ford will be at the line. It's an eight point Tiger lead at 60 to 52. Christian Ford. Can't hit the three-point play, or the four-point play, excuse me. It's still a 60 to 52 Tiger lead. Coming up on a minute to go. Ford with the pounding defense. And an offensive foul as Torrey stuck out the hip. And Ford causes havoc. Once again, the defense rises up here for the Tigers in the late stages of our ball game. 60 to 52 is our score. Tigers up and a timeout is called. A timeout is taken by the Tigers. A minute two remaining. And what can you say? This could be an upset here in the making when you compare what happened to the two teams last year. The Bears with 20 victories last year. Meanwhile, the Tigers look to improve, or much improve, from what they did last year. And right now, the Tigers are a minute and two seconds away for a shocking some folks in the NAIA level. Once again, thank you for everybody tuning in on our Voorhees University Athletic YouTube page and also our Voorhees University Facebook page. And those of you who are commenting in our chat room, all this afternoon. Thank you so very much for being interactive with us. And also let us know where you're watching the game from and who you're rooting for. All right now we got a minute to go. Here's Ford. Foster cannot hit. Coming up on 47 seconds to go. Ortega, who had the good first half. Quiet in the second half. 60 to 52 is our score. In the lane, Ortega hits it. Or will they call the offensive foul? Let's see. It's either in one. Offensive foul, Ortega. So Raul Ortega. It's the charge, and he's called for the offensive foul, and Ortega does not agree with the call whatsoever. So with 34.2 seconds to go, Tigers, as Ford falls down, ball knocks down, jump ball, and still remain Tigers' possession. with 29.5 seconds to go. Ooh. 
As we go check into the chat room. Uh, yes. Aria Gale says that the rep loved the whistle. Yeah, there's a, a lot of west, a lot of whistles here this afternoon, but this is the first game, so everybody is uh, working out the kinks. But yes, uh, there have been uh, some whistles that's been called this afternoon. So uh, with 29.5 seconds to go, 60 to 52 is our score. Tigers, I think, get it in. And off of the turnover, the Bears can't handle it. So the Tigers will have possession with 26.3 seconds to go. And the shot clock is turned off here. Will it be in the backcourt? And a reach in. Uh, stay tuned after the game. We'll have a show as Coach Cabral Huff will come talk to us here at the broadcasting booth as we will review this exciting opening day game. Willoughby gives it up and a foul is called. Look like Torre. It's called for the foul. That's his second. Big free throws coming up here for Tyler Willoughby, the junior out of Powder Springs, Georgia. To try to stretch it out to a 10-point Tiger lead. Willoughby has been hot from the line. Eighteen points for Tyler Willoughby here this afternoon. Trying to look for point number nineteen. So point number nineteen for Willoughby is a 62-52 10 point lead, and Willoughby comes away with the steal. Willoughby up the court, counted and one the clincher. Twenty-one points for Tyler Willoughby. <laughs> Willoughby hits the three-point play, and it's sixty-five fifty-two. Tigers can play back. They do not, they do not have to foul. Ortega uh, cannot hit ball off of Ortega hands. Five seconds to go, and the Tigers will come away with the victory here this afternoon. That will do it. Ball game. Tigers open up the season with a big victory here this afternoon against the Truth McConnell Bears. Final score 65 to 52. What a victory here to open up the season for the Boy East Tigers as they go 1-0 and they welcome in the Seahawks tomorrow afternoon at 3 p.m. What a game for Tyler Willoughby as he scores 21 points and he is the Tigers game player of the game as Dr. Hopkins and the rest of the Boy East Tigers faithful enjoy a big opening day victory here at the Dawson Center. Make sure you stay with us as we'll have uh, the post game show. I know a very happy, ecstatic Cabrell Huff. And as we said before, this is a much different team than what it has been in the past. And Huff feel very excited about this victory. And Charlene Johnson also give high fives to the coaching staff going into the locker room. A great, complete victory here this afternoon 
for the Tigers as they held the Bears to 52 points. So we'll review this match when we get back for the post-game show. An excited Tigers supporting leaving the arena and the Tigers with a 65 to 52 victory here this afternoon. We'll take a break and when we come back, we'll have the post game show and as well as a interview with the head coach Cabral Huff. That's coming up after this. You're watching Tiger Basketball on Voorhees University Athletics YouTube page and on our Voorhees University Facebook Live. We'll be back.
Welcome back here to the Leonard E. Dawson Center as a victorious crowd files out here as the uh, Voorhees Tigers defeat a, a team, a tough team in the Truett McConnell by the final score of 65 to 52. Right now, I'm standing with the winning coach of the Tigers, Coach Cabrell Huff. And Coach Huff, I got to say, this was an all around great win. Uh, your thoughts about the game? Uh, just ecstatic, man. This is a, a coming here on our home court, a great crowd to beat a 20 win team that was probably about this close from going to the NAI tournament last year and to really control the last 14 minutes of the second half is a testament to our guys. You know, and I got to say this, uh, the defense has really stepped up. What do you see in the defense there that really took this game over? Those guys were locked in on the scouting report. We knew exactly what we had to do. We knew we had to cut the head off the snake. And that was number four, Kelly, and that was number 15, Frankie. Uh, so we were really good at doing that, especially the last 14 minutes. We didn't let them get into the paint. Uh, you just got to give it up for key members of our bench, you know, Christian Ford and, and Terrell Wyndham um, and, and uh, Durante Foster. Those guys came in, and, and really from the 14-minute mark, they just – just, they didn't come out the game. You know? Right, <laughs> right. And I, and I seen that it was much tougher for the uh, Bears to come down the lane. And you said it, that that, that was going to be the key this season is to force uh, teams out of the paint. And it seemed like it happened here this afternoon. It did, it did. And then we were able to finish it by getting rebounds, you know. Uh, having Malachi Johnson, having Amari Joseph, having Durante Foster, Julius Phillips, even Isaiah Sellers, those five guys that play those two positions uh, have really impacted us. And then when you got a rotation that's deep of guards who can really guard the ball and you're able to see that. I mean, our starting point guard didn't come back in the game yeah. for the last 14 minutes and we were okay. <laughs> right. I, but you know what? That that uh, testified the depth that I said that this team really has. Yes. And the depth really came into light here this afternoon. It did. It did. I mean, you look at what Christian Ford did. I mean, he was the energy. That, that really got us going those last mm -hmm. 14 minutes. And then you add Durante Foster, his rebound, and, and then Terrell Windham and, mm -hmm. and, and Keyshawn Fleeting in the first half. Mm -hmm. Those guys really picked us up. Uh, they were able to pick up Hector. They were able yeah. to pick up Jordan Blue. And then Tyler Willoughby just oh, did what man. he was able to do. <laughs> yeah, I was surprised. I mean, look, he scored uh, 21 points, mm -hmm. and he had some big uh, three-pointers mm -hmm. here. But talk about his play, and he just took over there in the second half. And not only that, some good – uh, free throw shooting as well from him. Well, we knew what we were getting out of him. You know, he's a guy who's averaged 12 and 6 at this level, at the NAIA level. He's a guy who's experienced. He's a guy who's a leader. He's a guy who's strong. So we knew exactly what we were getting. And what he did tonight was just put it on display for yeah. everybody in our first regular season game. Right. And and what a win. And how the, does this really just translate? Because, uh, like I said, last year is last year. Mm -hmm. This year is this year. Mm -hmm. How did this uh, this year squad? It just feels like it feels like the energy is really coming together here. It does. It does. It's just a difference. It's a different energy. It's a different aura. You know. Let, let's start with it. Hopefully, we're we're out of COVID, so you get yeah. the, a whole team. Mm -hmm. They've been on campus. They've been in their weight room, working their butts off with Coach Roundtree, mm -hmm. and you can see the impact of it. Right. You get late in the game, and we weren't tired. We were still pushing it. Right. Um, so I think you're going to see this kind of energy all the time for us. And, mm -hmm. We got to get back at it tomorrow. Uh, right. But our death plays helps us out with that, so we're ready for it. Well, you know, you want to uh, savor this victory, but really you can only <laughs> save it for a couple hours right. because in come another tough team right. in Kaiser University with the Seahawks. Mm -hmm. So, I, uh, again, as a coach now, we get this uh, team behind. Let's take a look at the Seahawks. What do the Seahawks uh, offer for the Tigers tomorrow? Well, obviously, they have a great point guard in lot number five. Uh, they have a, a kid who killed us last year, uh, Shanquil uh, Edwards. Um, but they bring a whole new team. Right. So we, we it's some stuff we got to look at, you know, kind of scout tonight and see what we're going to do. Uh, but they're going to be tough. Kaiser's one of those teams that has always been a, a player in the NAIA level, mm -hmm. and, and we got to come ready to play. We can't savor this victory. We got to right. come out and defend tomorrow. Right. Well, mm -hmm. at least this victory gives us a good feeling going into tomorrow against another tough team from the NAIA, mm -hmm. and that is the uh, Kaiser Seahawks. Well, Coach, thank you so very much for joining me. Enjoy for the next uh, few hours this <laughs> right. victory, and then again, let's get it at it tomorrow, okay? No problem, no problem. And thank you. Oh, thank yeah. you, Tiger fans, for what, for what you did tonight. You brought the house down once again. Oh, yeah. And also, uh, uh, what right quick these uh, uh tiger fans here in the building yes, yes. actually played the role as they well did. too they did they did yes, uh, we they appreciate did. it let's see you tomorrow at three yes sir thank you so very <laughs> much you. i appreciate it right. and we'll see you tomorrow 
Okay, that was the uh, winning head coach for the Voorhees Tigers, uh, Coach Cabral Huff, as he talked about his team uh, this afternoon with the victory, 65-52 to 52 is the final score. The Tigers uh, over the Bears from Truett McConnell. So now the Tigers will now face uh, the Seahawks of Kaiser University. That's coming up uh, tomorrow afternoon at 3 o'clock, so hopefully you can join us. As uh, Coach mentioned, it was an all-around game uh, for the Tigers. The bench play play strong here. We'll need a strong bench play as well tomorrow and uh, the starters stepped up when they needed to step up so once again this is a very different Tigers basketball squad and I believe that coach Huff and uh, coach uh, Jay Will along with coach Bradford has really coached this team up and as he mentioned uh, coach Roundtree the strength and the conditioning coach as you see they were still active late in the second half and we'll need more of that tomorrow so once again uh, the Tigers with the victory here uh, this afternoon a big victory over the former 20 win uh, team from last year the Bears and let's see can this momentum go into Sunday against a tough Seahawks team and we'll need that same energy from the team and not only that the same energy from this crowd here uh, this afternoon who enjoyed a big victory here so uh, avoid uh, a victorious uh, crowd here at the uh, Dawson Center as of course uh, the Seahawks come into town Tigers right now looking really good. Let's see if they can keep up uh, with this uh, good play here. It's only one game, but still, it was a big game. So now we look forward to game two uh, tomorrow against uh, Kaiser University. We'll be on the air just before tip-off time, so make sure you join us just around 3 o'clock. Also, we like to thank everybody for uh, tuning in on our YouTube page and also on our Voorhees University uh, Facebook Live page. We like to thank everybody uh, who was interactive with us in the chat room. And of course, I want to give another special shout out to all of the students here because this is a student production here. Uh, we're so glad, myself and the executive producer, Curtis Sumner, uh, as we put together a good... Uh, solid student team here and of course uh, we enjoy your comments but do keep in mind that this is a student run uh, production here the students uh, run the cameras the student run the behind the scenes and the production and that is what uh, Voorhees Media Network is all about it's giving the opportunity and the chance for students uh, to come in and shine yes we may not be a 100% all the time but guess what uh, with this uh, training and with more uh, added, you'll see a good difference here. And again, I do appreciate all of the students uh, that has participated here in the media network on bringing you this afternoon's broadcast. And they will bring you tomorrow afternoon's broadcast and throughout the regular season as well. So we got to give a hand to our Voorhees University students. Well, for everybody here at the Voorhees Media Network, I'm Clarence Jones. Make sure you stay tuned tomorrow uh, for our matchup between the Tigers and the Seahawks. But for now, enjoy the rest of your Saturday, and we will talk to you again tomorrow afternoon. Good evening, everybody.